Ladies and gentlemen, fellow nationals and residents of the Turks and Caicos, since the COVID-19 pandemic was thrust upon us four months ago, we have managed with God's help through our direction, but most importantly through your discipline and sacrifice to have waged a relatively successful battle. That said, we always understood that the war was not yet won. This pandemic was or has severely affected life as we know it and has forced us, as it has done the rest of the world, to reconfigure our social, cultural, and economic landscape so that we can adequately deal with this new challenge. This reconfiguration of which I speak happened in real time, understanding that because this is a once in a hundred year pandemic, there is no best practice manual to which anyone can refer. Through our mobilization and with the collaboration and support of international partners, including organizations like the Pan American Health Organization and the World Health Organization, we have enforced policies that have severely limited the spread of the virus. The number of cases have been kept down to manageable levels, and until this week, we had gone through a long period without any new cases. Unfortunately, that has changed this week, which reminds us all that in this fight, we must never get complacent and we must never let our guards down. Within the last 24 hours, and confirmed this morning, it was confirmed that we have 12 new positive cases of COVID-19. 11 of those attended the same group activity, while the additional case is unrelated and has been admitted to the Cheshire Hall Medical Center because of certain vulnerabilities and pre-existing conditions. The new cases bring the active cases here in Turks and Caicos to 24, which means over the past week, we have doubled the number of cases that TCI has seen since the start of the pandemic. These latest instances further highlight the need to follow all the protocols that are in place, including those limiting large gatherings. If we had dropped the discipline we have shown, if we thought this battle was won, and so there was no need to follow the protocols, let this latest development be a reminder to us all. With this latest development, we are immediately taking all measures to ensure there is no widespread community spread and that the virus is contained. All new cases and their contacts have been quarantined and additional individuals will be quarantined with the continued contact tracing activities. With these activities, we must be prepared to see additional new cases. The Ministry of Health is also working closely with the Public Health England team on island who are providing support to the activities which are currently underway. Because of our ability to test samples to the work of the National Public Health Laboratory, results are being provided within a shorter period of time and this helps to inform decision making. The government continues to support the COVID-19 response by providing all the necessary resources, including additional human resources, materials, supplies, and equipment. Two additional persons will be joining the National Public Health Lab, lab team this week, and additional temporary staff will also be joining the Ministry of Health in the form of compliance officers and surveillance officers. In addition, the 20 Cuban medical professionals will be released from quarantine this week to join the Cheshire Hall Medical Center, massively strengthening our capacity for medical management of this pandemic. Additionally, I have immediately ordered a comprehensive review of all protocols that are in place with a view of making further adjustments to ensure more efficiency. I want to urge all nationals and residents to continue to follow all the protocols that have kept us safe during the last few months. You may be asking naturally if that changes the phase reopening we announced. The cabinet will meet tomorrow to discuss those matters further and to get further advice from our medical professionals. Through all of us, our foremost determination is to ensure the well-being and safety of all our people. We remain committed to this and there will be no shortcuts. A great African writer once said, every challenge you encounter in life is a fork in the road. You have the choice to choose which way to go, backward, forward, break down, or break through. We here in the Turks and Caicos are choosing breakthrough. And as the scripture says in Paul's letter to the church at Corinth, we are hard pressed on every side yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. And through the grace of God and the collective will of you, the people, 
we shall continue to hold our community together. We shall continue to look out for each other and act appropriately so that we can keep each other safe. May God continue to bless you and all of us in these beautiful by nature Turks and Caicos Islands. I now invite the Honorable Edwin Oster, the Minister of Health, to reinforce the need to follow the protocols established by his ministry. Good afternoon. As Minister of Health, I urge all residents to follow the public health messages which have been issued on an ongoing basis and to comply with the advice on protective measures. The general public is reminded to contact the health hotline on 232-9444 or 333-0914. That's 333-0911. If you are experiencing the following symptoms, cough, fever, shortness of breath, loss of taste or smell, body aches or diarrhea, continue to protect yourself and others by washing your hands frequently with soap and water and use alcohol-based hand sanitizers, Practicing social distancing at all times, keeping six feet from other persons. That is, keeping six feet from other persons. Use face covering when in public. And this face covering must cover your mouth and nose. Cover your cough and sneeze. Use your elbow or tissue, which should be properly disposed of. Keep frequent touching surfaces clean. Example, tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, keyboards, toilets, faucets, and sinks. Stay home and call the health hotline if you are experiencing any of these symptoms of COVID-19. Stay informed about COVID-19. Visit the Minister, Ministry of Health website. It is up to each of us to play our part in preventing the spread of COVID-19. We are now experiencing a spike in numbers, as we predicted. But unlike before, we are capable of immediately, immediate on-island testing immediately on-island PCR testing is available, which allow us to isolate and quarantine from an earlier informed position. And with the increase in health professionals through our MOU with Cuba, we are better positioned to respond. Whilst the health team will continue to guide the government policies, you are reminded and will be reminded minded on a daily basis that you are our main partners in this fight against COVID-19. We urge you, urge you not to drop the ball now. We have come very far. There is much that remains unknown about COVID-19, but the protocols and social distancing and the wearing of masks remain our best working defense. Again, the following the protocols of social distancing and the wearing of masks remains our best defense. Thank you and good afternoon.